Hello everyone, it's Maria. I'm here to do a project share with you. These are some books that I've um, decided to, I guess, alter. I mean, the w I got the idea from the children's book that I did before, and I will put those in. Uh, sorry, I put them on the, on the link below, so you can check those out if you want to. And those books that I did, my kids had torn out some of the pages of the book, or they had messed it up a little bit uh, by, I don't know, ripping it up because they like to rip up books, I have to watch them. <laughs> so, um, um, these ones, I actually went to the thrift store, and they had a whole bunch of kids' books, and I was like, awesome, um, I won't feel so bad about cutting, <laughs> or, you know, using these books, because they have all the pages, they aren't ruined, so all the, all the pages of the books are still in these ones. And so, um, I just did a, a basically, children's book junk journals, I just went and did a few of them, and... I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through for you. Um, hopefully I can get them all in one video. <laughs> so I'll just start with Peter Pan. And I did some seam binding up here. All of this stuff is removable. Um, I just did it in, you know, the colors that are on the cover. And it's one of the golden books. I used to see these when I was little. I used to love looking through these. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside. And it says here this little golden book belongs to, and I'm I'm actually kind of glad nobody wrote on it because I would have uh, put one of mine over it because I have a couple from uh, the Prima uh, ABC Prima collection. So, and then see, I still have to get used to the cinch because there's a certain way you gotta do it. <laughs> so everything's here. All the pages are in order. Everything is how it's supposed to be. And so in here, I got these little uh, blocks for my kids, and I don't know if you guys have seen them in, like, Walmart or Target, but it's basically like this B brand, and it's really cute. They have, like, these little cute little things in here, and I've been saving this forever. I might have to put this in my baby book, because I really don't, I don't want to see it go. But yeah, I've been saving this forever. I've actually like had it in my room. It's been in like luggage. It's been like all, all, all kinds of places because I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. It came with their toys. So, um, I just have that tucked in there in the pocket. And I just put some washi tape and some extra fennel there. All paper, extra paper, sorry, this paper's copy dyed. Um, these were gifted to me. A lot of the stuff that I used in my journals, my junk journals, was gifted to me. And I really feel like it's important for me, and I think I say this a lot, it's important for me to use the stuff that's gifted to me as much as possible. So, I really do try to do that. Just, um, library card, uh, not a library card, a checkout card. Some washi down there. Got a little bit, uh, sorry. Polaroid. Polaroid frame. These are really cool. I found them at Walmart. These are paint swatches, but they have little pictures on them. I thought that was cute, so I got a, bu I got a bunch of them. And then here's the tuck button. Can you even tell me to glue it down? Okay, cool. There's some cards that are paper clipped on here. There's a paint swatch. tape down here. And I, put, I glued this on and put some washi tape on there. And there's just an index card in there to journal on. kids a pack of flashcards for numbers and letters and they love them. They like want to do them all the time. I'm really glad but sometimes it's annoying. And 
So that is this one. I'm going to go ahead and start Charlie Brown. And I just have some of my own hand dyed, um, not these one. This one was gifted to me by Jenny. And thank you, Jenny. And the other ones are Crinkles and Binding. And this is some sorry stuff that I, um, I dyed myself. Make sure you guys can see everything. Okay. Just have some extra stuff tucked in here, and I like I like being able to use all of my really bright, colorful stuff because sometimes I I have a hard time finding uses for that. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna have to pinch this down a little bit more. Still mastering the part of the cinch. <laughs> oh, there we go. So this pocket here. And come back in there. Pocket here. There's just some layering there. space here so if you decided you wanted to write here or up here you could do that there's like so much space you can write on with these the flash card down here <laughs> test spot oh I'm going to look here and inside is a mini um, and then, gosh, what is that? Bingo card. You need to remember. here. I'm going to pop it here. Some extra thumb on there and take this to right. So that is the Charlie Brown one. And I'm going to go ahead and do the cat in the hat. This one I found that was more difficult to work with and it's very frustrating actually. But I really like how it looks and I really like uh, everything I was able to get in there because I used the larger rings. So. Um, I put some charms on here, and there's like a little boat, a key, a bell, a hammer, and another key. That's cute. So, let's see if I can get this book to cooperate with me. I have not gotten this one to be very cooperative. So, I put this book belongs to up here, and that was one of the Prima uh, images I was talking about from... ABC Primer. These are one of my altered book pages that I turn into an envelope. Um, this is one of the Marion Smith papers that I cut out and cut down so I could put in here. And it says, so I keep my bright ideas. It's a little pop-up. And it's got all these little things you could um, write on. You can write on these and then pull them out if you need to. Or I think that's super cute. I love that. Um, copy dye paper bag. Just got some tags inside. So 
more tag. Um, this is a tea bag, and I just put a little image in there. Got some tags, and I put a few of these in here. So that we could be a few extras. I really like that one. And I got that from Tuesday morning. And then this was gifted to me, and I put some um, extra places, extra FM in here. I really think these are pretty, the jelly prints. I really need to get better at that. I need some more jelly prints. I haven't done that in forever. Coffee dyed paper. washi tape. Some extra stuff that I had from one of my design team projects. And I just paper put that on there. And put some other stuff in here. Flashcard. Journal spots. guys enjoyed the flip through of the journals. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And I really, really think this is a great way to use books, especially if you have like a favorite book that you don't want to get rid of, but you want to use it. This is a really good way to do that too. Um, they make, I think these would make great gifts. Um, but yeah, okay, this is, um, that's the end of it. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Hope you're all doing well. Bye.